Hi again, it's Jacqueline. Welcome back to my channel. So as promised, I'm here unboxing this two-pack Eiffel style chairs. So I bought them on my last Costco haul. I'm just gonna give them a try to see how they work. The ones that I have right now, they're really, really dated. I'm just gonna flip that around. So some of the features of this is that the legs are solid beach. It's got bonded leather, black leather, and there's like floor protectors on the on the feet, which is amazing. So I'm gonna unbox it and show you what it comes with. Let me see. It's pretty strong. It's got a little bit of um, metal in the middle, and as I said before, the solid legs, and it's pretty substantial. It's relatively heavy. So there's two like that. Yes, there are gliders at the bottom. But I'm actually going to put some felt pads so it doesn't scratch up the hardwood floors. and all the mechanics to put it together so there's two like that So it's the Bayside Furnishings Chairs 2-Pack by Whalen Furnishings. And the two in a package at Costco is $90, which is really good. I'm going to make an attempt to put this together. After digging into the box, I came across this as well. So it looks like like an Allen key and two, four, six, eight screws. <clears throat> There's a parts list. <laughs> it looks pretty straightforward. So it looks like all you got to do is put the chair upside down and then just screw in the four screws into that. I'm going to give it a try and see. I'm not the best at putting things together, so this will be a first for me as well. Here. First chair and here is the bottom. Just going to match up these holes to the holes at the bottom. Got it on my knee. I'm trying 
trying to do it so you guys can see it. Ah. How's it supposed to move back? it down as much as I can on my own. was holding it the wrong way so you use use it upside down like that it's sharp at the top It looks like it could be a little bit tighter, but it's hurting that part of my thumb. When Hops comes, I'm definitely going to get him to drill in the rest because I don't know where in the garage the tools are. But ultimately, that's what it looks like. I just feel like it's too casual for where I have it. They are nice though. Another mm. thing I'm not fond of is that the bottom here has that bonded leather, but yet the back is plastic. Not fond of that. But the legs, everything else, all looks pretty good. The comfort on a scale of one to 10, I have to say it's about a six in comfort. And I think these chairs will be good like for if you're a student or if you have like a simple eat-in kitchen, something like that. But for me, because it's going in my dining room, I find them to be too plain. So more than likely, I will return them. Thanks for sticking it out with me and I'll see you in the next video.